Welcome to Word Matters. I'm Dr. Matthew Irvin, and in this series, we'll explore the power of words. Words can discourage, or they can encourage us. Words can create powerlessness, or words can create hope and a sense of agency in our lives. Words can be vague, or so precise that intent is lost. In these videos, we investigate language as a tool through which we can create our own world rather than merely being passive in a world not of our own making. On today's Word Matters, we'll explore an idea popular in American culture. New Year's resolutions, why they fail, and a useful alternative. Let's start with a common New Year's resolution. Americans resolve every year by the millions at the New Year to get in shape. Wise yoga studios, martial arts dojos, cross-training facilities, commercial and organizational gyms. You see them everywhere, festooned with New Year's, New You signs. If you ask any personal trainer, yoga teacher, martial arts sensei, front desk worker, or regular client about this time of year, you'll get the following general description. It's the same everywhere. The parking lot, studio space, weight machine, yoga floor, pool is full from about December 28th. It peaks around January 15th, and by Valentine's Day, all those locations are half full again. The folks who have routines, breathe, collective sighs of relief return to something like normal. What happens to all those resolutions? While we wish all those folks the best, why do they drop off? Let's look at the definition of the word resolution. From here, we might get a collective clue. Well, the first three definitions given by the Merriam-Webster Dictionary as of 2018, January 10th, are one, the act of analyzing a complex situation into simpler ones, or two, the act of answering, or three, the act of determining. A more formal definition of technology says that resolution means the process of making distinguishable the individual parts of an object, or in your favorite novel, the point in a literary work at which the chief dramatic complication is worked out. So how much would the resolution to get in shape hold up against these definitions? Well, the third definition above sure makes sense when we think of New Year's resolutions, doesn't it? The act of determining. I make a determination to get in shape. But wait a minute. Why does this resolution fail? Because, if we look at the first definition, the act of analyzing a complex notion and getting into shape is more complex than most folks give it credit for. How do we break that down into simpler ones? Well, this process usually fails. Folks, don't do this. To get a clue, think about your favorite TV show or story. There's a plot, and they lead up to a resolution. We also don't make distinguishable the individual parts of an object. Wait a minute, you say. What object? Well, getting in shape is the object, the thing that is being acted on. So what's the alternative? Well, let's look at analyzing a complex notion into a simple one. If getting in a shape is not your idea of complex, then it's going to probably be a vague one. What is shape? Does it mean losing weight, getting that beach body for the summer, feeling great? You must have something to resolve to, a vision of what fitness means. You can't determine definition number two if you have no clear individual parts of the object, fitness. Well, what's the alternative? First, establish what fitness means. Second, break this down into simpler parts. I will eat more of this kind of food and less of that kind of food. I will exercise five times a week. When I exercise, I will alternate. I'll research the best kind of exercise necessary. Third, 
come up with an action plan, specific actions you can take immediately towards reaching each of these parts of fitness, specific diet changes, exercises, and so forth. Fourth, take a weekly inventory to determine whether your goals are still a good fit for your concept or whether they need some fine tuning. Finally, develop an action plan for the next week. If more people make their resolutions based on the total definition of the word, then maybe the gym would have to expand because people would be in there year round, not just at the end of holidays. If you want to write the script of your own New Year's resolution at any time of the year, please click on the link and join me, Dr. Matthew Irvin at Accountability Coach 100. Your new year begins on January 18th or March 4th or May 12th or any day that you determine. Thanks for watching.